Welcome to Investors Insights. Our topic today is Trump, policy and protectionism. Stay with us as we go through this. Gentlemen, I uh, enjoyed the conversation this morning, mainly because of the fact uh, it's a big world and it's a small world, right? Yes. Uh, from that, uh, Bobby, you brought up about uh, what was taking place. Trump was fulfilling his political campaigns here about uh, uh, protectionism, America first. Talk about that. Yeah, a lot of attention was on this past weekend in Berlin with the G20 summit. Overall, there was a lot of disappointment and they were unable to reach a, endorse a free trade agreement. And a lot of that had to do with, uh, with Trump, the Trump effect on protectionism and putting America first. And that really took center stage this past weekend. Uh, and then also going forward, I think it'll be a bilateral agreement between the U.S. and each trade co country. I mean, that's a big deal. And so, you know, also they failed to reach an agreement on climate change funding, but it wasn't all for nothing. I mean, there was some positive things that came out of there. Right. They made a lot of um, headwind on uh, currency manipulation. And so well, that's very important. The, so yeah, it wasn't the, for nothing. The, the point being is on Trump and his policy, his protectionism that's taking place here, the markets will be watching to see what economic impact right. that has on right. corporate earnings. Mm -hmm. Trey, you brought up in terms of uh, the world, uh, Brexit. Yeah, I mean, in terms of a good test case of how of how protection, I think the first wave of protectionism really came through Brexit. I think that that, that preceded the, the Trump effect. And uh, Theresa May, the prime minister of the UK, announced that they will start the exiting process on March 29th, and so that'll start the two-year process, which will actually, you know, show how you know the unwinding of those trade deals work, and maybe start the process of a bilateral trade deal with the U.S. So it'll be very, very interesting to see how the world shrinks and then grows again. Absolutely, and so once again, protectionism right. uh, in action on that. And then in terms of Trump policy and protectionism, in the previous vlog, we talked about just regulation in our own country. Yes. Ashley, you had some additional facts uh, that causing us to focus on the financial sector right now. Talk That's about correct. that. That's correct. Financial sector is a large employment sector in the country, a big one. And we mentioned the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau on the blog a few weeks back. And what we saw over the weekend that you need to focus on is that Trump and the administration, the Department of Justice specifically, sued them in federal court to basically say the whole agency is unconstitutional. So if you're trying to bring regulations down, you can do it one of three ways. You can go back and repeal the law through Congress. You can do that. You can try to defund it. Or you can take the third wave and try to sue them out of existence. Right. And we're seeing more of that now. Right. So that's something to watch. So on the financial sector, we're going to be watching that very closely uh, as we move forward here. Interest rates have gone up, mm -hmm. which would be a positive for uh, financials. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, at the same time, though, you've got this from the regulatory environment environment taking place as well. So on that note, we just want you to know that the, the whole philosophy here in terms of Trump and his policies, protectionism, the market now has to digest that and we'll see the impact that's going to take place on the markets in relation to corporate earnings and economic growth. Have a great day. Connect with us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and we'll be talking to you soon.